So today I will be installing a DRAC5 card into my Dell 2950 Gen 2 server. It's a Power Edge. Here you can see the DRAC card itself. It's a pretty little card and it's got a RJ45 connector and you see it's got two IDE style ribbons on it. Uh, one thing about this card that kind of trips people up is you see that the interface there. You actually do not use that at all. It doesn't have a place in the server at all. It doesn't connect to anything. And then in the back here, you see this little black spot right here. It's actually got a little cover on it with a little, it's got like a wrench or something on it. That's actually where your RJ45 is going to pop out. And then you'll see these little uh, blue tabs inside there. That's what's going to seat the card and connect it down there. And then you see those little IDE looking interfaces, and that's where those ribbons are going to connect to. And there's another little blue tab back there. Installing the card itself is pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing I'll do is take out the little black placeholder in the back of the server using some needle nose pliers. You just pinch it and it just pops right out. See it there. And then you grab the card and kind of gently slide it into place. The card will actually go under the tab in the back where the RJ45 connector is and then it'll go over the tab that's towards the outside of the case there where you see the connector that's not going to be used. And then you just kind of push it down and clip it into those back blue tabs there. They do take a little bit of effort to get them to snap in but you'll hear an audible click. And then the next thing you want to do is seat the IDE style connectors there, which also have a little bit of a audible click. And you'll fill it seat down in there and they can only kind of go one way. And then just double check all your connections, make sure everything's nice and tight. And that's pretty much it, the card is installed. Here you can see the rear side of the server where you can see the RJ45 port seated in there nice and uh, another shot of the card from the back side. Alright so now we're actually booting the server up itself and uh, it's going to go ahead and ping a server, it's going to run through the RAID controller and a series of checks on all of the various hardware that's installed in this thing but the last one is going to be for the uh, DRAC card that we actually just installed and it's going to give us a hotkey combo um, I think it's like control E and then it'll give us the options to go ahead and configure the card itself Okay, so we notice there that it says remote access controller detected, whereas before it wouldn't have said anything at that point. Alright, so one of the next options you're going to see is for the hotkey combo for the DRAC card setup. You're going to hit control E and it takes us into the DRAC setup and uh, one of the first things we're going to configure is the LAN parameters where well, we go and set the IP that we're going to use to access the card by, the subnet mask, the gateway and then under the advanced LAN parameters you can set the, the speed and everything, the DNS servers, you see it's a 100 megabit card and you see the LAN user configuration this is where you would set the account that you're going to use to log in to the web management and all that stuff and then uh, just hit escape to exit the setup and uh, on this setup here I'm using a KVM so I'm just going to actually just switch over to my Windows 7 machine and uh, let's type the IP address of the DRAC card into my uh, Firefox browser and you see it's gonna it barks about the connection being untrusted and the SSL certificate blah 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 we're just gonna accept and continue on trust the certificate 
and this is where we're going to enter the username and password that we set up on the DRAC setup and here you see that we are officially logged in to the DRAC card and, uh, and you can do this with the system being on or off it doesn't matter if the networks live this is all on the DRAC card itself and now we're going to go ahead and pull up a console of the machine and I use the Java to do this. You have to download a little Java file, and we're going to trust the connections here. And here you see the blinking cursor of what's being displayed on the server itself. At the moment, there's no OS installed, so that's all we're going to see. But uh, let's go ahead and restart the server, and we'll see it go through post. and there you go even though the machine is completely off the network we're able to see and control it via the DRAC card and you see at the top here we have some options for hotkey combos and you have the ability to restart it and power it off or power it on from an off state all in all it's a, it's a very useful tool to have attached to your servers and that concludes my install and configuration of the DRAC card in my 2950 server. Uh, please see the link to my website below, and uh, thank you for watching.